that. Hang on. Let's put you over here and then maybe you can see me. Yeah, possibly. Anyway, so my second day in Japan, the first day does not count because I'd been on a flight for like 12 hours, 50 minutes or something, and then traveling for a lot longer than that. Uh, so it doesn't count. This today is my first real day. I didn't sleep well last night. I think I woke up about 12 in the morning because I've gone to sleep at a weird time. Anyway, I'm still a bit spaced out, but I did get to go around and look at some stuff today. So I went to the government building where there's an observatory. Don't know what it's exactly called, but I'll show you some pictures or some video from there. And holy shit, is Tokyo sprawling. It is the biggest city I have ever seen. And I mean, I've been to New York, which is fairly big, but this is just incomparable. Just looking at it, it's huge. Anyway, it seems to be not many people about. I have seen very few foreigners so far. They've, um, I think I've seen two, three people that looked like they perhaps weren't from here in another place that I went today, which is Akihabara. Aka Akihabara? Akihabara. Probably that. Anyway, I accidentally called it Akiharibo earlier, and that has seemed to have stuck with, um, with my mate Dave. So we went down there and um, the primary reason we went down there because the more the massive like display advertising, they've got loads of like arcade places and um, things where they have retro computer games. Anyway, but we found all these computer things. I found the radio, is it Tokyo Radio Store? I think that's what it's called. Anyway, there'd be a sign outside it. And um, I went in with with Dave and we walked around and had a look at some of the stuff but because I was with Dave I didn't buy anything because I didn't really want him to walk around the whole shop and wait for me while I asked loads of questions and stuff so I saw lots of cool things and um, maybe I'll go over them in detail a bit but it was very very cool. Now we've got one day left here in Tokyo and then, well, one full day and then the, the next day isn't a full day and we move on to Kyoto, uh, which should be really, really cool. But some thoughts so far on Japan is, holy crap, is it not like any place I've ever been before? Hang on, is that double negative? I'm not sure. 
anyway, it's not like any place I've ever been before. And, I, you know, like there are other countries that I've been where I've felt like a foreigner. Um, so there are loads of places you can go, which are like Europe, like properly westernized nations. And then places like India, um, Ghana, I felt like a foreigner. But there were plenty of visible foreigners around. And oddly, Tokyo, I've not seen very many. Um, I don't know whether that's the time of year or the places I'm staying. So I'm currently staying in um, an area called Hamacho, um, which is really, really nice. I'm just not sure it's super touristy. Um, but it was fairly cheap. <laughs> 50 quid a night, so not too bad. Yeah, so I'm, I've been surprised, but we'll be going on to Kyoto and then maybe my ideas will completely change, I don't know. But yeah, super interesting. I'm not really into the food, honestly. Uh, I haven't, we had a bit of a, <laughs> we went for some food last night and we ordered what we thought was some food. It turns out it's some kind of, you needed to do it in some kind of tapas way. Anyway, we ordered something called chicken skipper teriyaki. And then these are the translated ones. And then uh, there was uh, spicy chicken. And w uh, we thought there would be some kind of um, meal that would come out with some rice and some vegetables. And then the meat main that you'd ordered wasn't that at all. It came in a bowl. We got a couple of beers. The chicken skipper thing was so disgusting. I nearly threw up. Like it just was like the texture was just, it was chewy and fatty. And I could feel the fat just like oozing out. <laughs> it wasn't my bag at all. So I'm really not accustomed to it, but I'm sure I'll find some stuff I do enjoy. Ramen is something I like, but um, there are some more specialized dishes that I'm not sure I'm gonna have the taste buds for, unfortunately. But I'm, keep, I'm keeping on trying, so we'll see. But God, so far no <laughs> nothing has stuck with me. Katsu curry's nice, is that? No. That's probably a Western I think, or at least it feels like it because I got some in Yo Sushi <laughs> in Leicester. And why? Okay, well, I'll carry on and uh, I'll report back. Tokyo. It was a fantastic experience, but it's time to move on. So we jumped onto the Shinkansen, which is the bullet train, the Hikari line, I think it was, and headed off to Kyoto, which was our next stop.
Inari. We shouldn't be doing this really because Dave's legs hurt. We're meant to be going to the Inari Shrine, which is those gates you saw earlier. He's over there, we're in a bamboo bamboo grove place. I'll show you some little clips. Whoa! It's a wee bit dangerous. Ice cream looks really nice, but it is rank. Dave and I are in a cat cafe. I'll show you that. There's Dave. Yeah, they're, they're pretty cute. Ended up with, with all these cats. There's one there licking himself. This one's not really doing much. He's pretty stoic over there. What are you doing? Nothing. I blame Dave. Dave, so why don't you tell me what do you do? Why did you decide well, to do that? I'm very interesting and was very odd. <laughs> very odd. <laughs> And how much did we pay for that? No. Let's see. We paid 700 yen for 20 minutes with a cat. We we probably five did it minutes. for about yeah about five or ten minutes. It's the entrance, it is, isn't it? Well, this is an interesting way up. Oh. First floor. It's quite easy to imagine that you can fall in.
Moving on from Kyoto, we're off to Osaka now, which is our next destination where we get to go to an aquarium and we also go to Universal Studios. And then we're going to head back to Tokyo for our final couple of days before heading back to the UK. Japan. Me and, me and Dave have just been on the Jurassic Park The Ride, which is the family friendly thing with a, it's like a boat ride, like a log flume type thing, but a bit more dramatic. And we both were scared like little girls. <laughs> it was terrifying. It was uh, it's, a, it's, it's a big drop. And so you just, well, anyway, my ass is completely wet from sitting in a, a seat full of water. This is the longest queue of our lives. How long have we been in it? About four days. Oh, I've got my hand over the thingy. So, no, seriously, how long? Two hours. Two hours in a queue for Harry Potter. So we've finished on the Harry Potter ride. That's that castle up there. You can probably see it. We're surrounded by some Harry Potter things, says Dave. Do you think it's worth it, Dave? Yeah, it was worth it for um, four minutes. Two hours. Two hours, four minutes. It was good. I really, I really loved it. Oh, shit. They're doing some spells now. Come on, everyone! So that brings me to the end of my trip to Japan. It was a fantastic experience. I can't describe how different that place is to anywhere else I've ever been. It was just... Well, it was mind-blowing, honestly. And the people of Japan are really, really friendly. We, I mean, we were there during Golden Week, which is an extended holiday period for them because their emperor abdicated to allow his son to take over the throne. So it was a very interesting time to go. All right, well, I'll speak to you all next time. <laughs>